Hello and welcome to my Yu-Gi-Oh channel. Today we're looking at a couple of boss monsters that have been introduced within the last episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! 7's the anime. Thunderbolt, the lightning, fire, deity is a thunder effect fire attribute level 7 with 2300 attack and 1900 defense. The requirement, if this card was normal summon this turn, send the top card of your deck to the graveyard. And the effect, this card gains 300 attack until the end of this turn. Then if you have four or more monsters that are level 7 with different names in your graveyard, you can choose one monster that's a level 7 in your graveyard and special summon it to your field face up. So my opinion of this card is it's quite weak. It does require you just to send the top card of your deck to the graveyard, which is fine. The normal summon condition is okay, but it has to be on the turn it's normal summoned. So you either use it on your first turn that it's summoned, or you don't use it at all. The attack boost is minimal. It goes from 2300 to 2600. I don't really see the difference what that's really going to be over. Okay, you've gone from being able to match the attack points of Guy the Fierce Knight to attacking over a Dark Magician. Congratulations, well done. But it's not going to make any real difference. Then you have to rely on having four or more monsters that are level 7. So that's a very specific level to them. And they also have to have different names. That means you're going to have to run more than four or five level seven monsters including this card to be able to trigger off its effect to hopefully revive a level seven monster in the graveyard there are so many easier ways to get level seven monsters out even just tribute summoning for them to meet this condition is just absurd it's not going to be a viable option and the other card i think is supposed to support the character the main character's rival which is luke this is metagius the steel striking dragon it's a dragon effect monster, dark attribute, level 7 with 2500 attack and 1500 defense. The requirement is to send one monster, it must be a level 7 or higher dragon type, from your hand to the graveyard. The effect is this turn this card cannot be destroyed by battle or by your opponent's card effects, by the trap effects, and if it attacks a monster it can make a second attack on a monster during this battle phase. This is more like it, this is definitely something I can consider to be more of a boss monster than the previous one. For starters, this is something that Luke has several of. He's got three dragon type monsters, each dark attribute, each dragon type, each with the same stat line on the attack and defense with individual effects that meet different circumstances. The requirement to send a high level dragon type monster to the graveyard, you're gonna have those in spades. It's definitely gonna be an easy condition to meet. Maybe a little bit more difficult than the above condition, but you know, this is a better effect. This is immune from battle destruction for the turn. It cannot be destroyed by your opponent's trap effects, which is good. And it can clear your opponent's monsters up to two monsters within the very same turn. This means it can respond a lot better to your opponent than the above monster Thunderbolt can. Overall, I think this is definitely the better of the two. Which card do you prefer and what do you think these cards will look like going into the future? Do you think you'll have monsters that are similar to this? Or do you think you'll have improvements and for the storyline to go completely in a different direction? Whatever you think, leave those comments down below. Like the video if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe for more daily Yu-Gi-Oh content.